Cosmos Astrophotography. So it's that time of the year that us astrophotography geeks like to call Galaxy Season. And tonight I'm going to be taking a trip to the constellation Leo. And there's three deep sky objects, funny enough, all galaxies, I'm going to try and capture tonight. And that is Messier 65, 66, and NGC 3628. Also known as the Hamburger Galaxy. Absolutely love that name. And that's due to its appearance as it looks to us from Earth. The funny of her, one of my daughters, uh, her star sign is a Leo, and she's been quite excited that I'm going to be capturing it tonight. So these three galaxies are also known as the Leo triplet, and uh, approximately 35 million light years from Earth. So it's, it always fascinates me that it's, it's took 35 million years for light to travel across space to hit our camera sensors here. I mean, what was actually happening on Earth then? Makes you wonder, doesn't it? So to capture these objects, I'm going to be using the biggest scope I've actually got, which is the William Optics Zenith Star 61. It's a 61mm refractor telescope. It has a focal length of 360mm. And to be fair, could do with something with a bit more punch, you know, maybe 550, possibly even 800mm uh, focal length. But, you know, you've got to just make do with what you got and this is what I've got. Not sure where, how it's going to look, it's not going to be like massive, but you know, I'll just have to make do. The filter I'm going to be using, uh, it's something I've only used uh, once before, um, quite a relatively new filter that I've purchased, and that is Skytech L Pro Max. And it's a clipping filter for a Canon DSLR, a crop sensor, may I add. And it's a little different to what I normally use, quite uh, used to using a quad band filter, the L Pro Max, going to let a lot of light in, probably benefit more in maybe a dark site location like uh, a bottle four, maybe possibly a three. Using it in a bottle six is the fact that the moon is quite low, um, so yeah, it's not going to let too much in. I think if the moon was really, really bright and, and up high, I, I probably wouldn't use it, I'd probably give it a miss. Now Leo triplet, it, it's not that low in the sky, um, however, from my location in my backyard, uh, it, it does skim the roof line of my house um, I'm sort of right back in my backyard here to get the best sort of view of these objects it just it is what it is unfortunately we're still in lockdown in the UK so I don't have the luxury of getting out anywhere and to be honest I don't really get that much opportunity anyway due to like family and work life so I can't just go gallivanting about anyway I'm gonna crack on uh, switch your lights off and uh, yeah it should be popping up in the next 20 minutes so get framed up. See you soon. Yeah, a bit of a shaky start. Uh, lo and behold, you know, the clouds rolled in about five, ten minutes after I'd set the rig away. Uh, story of my life. Uh, but to be fair, you know, it, um, it did disappear. Um, I've actually switched targets. I've done all the calibration frames on the, uh, the uh, Leo triplet. Um, but yeah, I actually switched targets onto Messier 101. Um, it's the Pinwheel Galaxy in the constellation Ursa Major and it's um, actually, I call it the big frying pan in the sky, it's the plough or the big dipper well, anyway, the sort of the handle bit if you like um, it's on one side of that and uh, yeah, it's about 21 million light years away uh, I've already got some date run actually, uh, I've got a couple of hours, hour half, couple of hours on it so hopefully I'll get another couple of hours on this um, and I'll have a couple of images to share with you guys at the end of the video. I truly wish everyone a clear sky, because uh, I'm having dreadful ones at the moment. <laughs> uh, it just seems to be maybe weeks at a time that I can get out, but you know, I suppose that's, uh, that's uh, astrophotography for you. Hello everyone, this video was supposed to come out a little earlier, um, but during the making of the 
the video it would say we had a close member of the family pass away my fiance Janine her mum passed um, after a year long battle with cancer and she actually spent the last few weeks of her life uh, with us um, around the hustle and bustle of the, the children and that uh, so probably wasn't probably wasn't peaceful but I think she wouldn't have had it any other way uh, she absolutely loved the, uh, the little ones I think she was quite happy being around them um, when she passed she didn't seem to be in any pain she passed away quite peacefully and Janine bless her she did everything in her power to make her as comfortable and as happy as possible and give her the best care she possibly could um, towards the end of her life so it turns out this video is actually in you know, honour or remembrance or love and memory if you like of Jean who passed away at the young age of 73. It turns out she was actually a Leo as well and I spoke to my daughter Jessica, uh, mentioned earlier and um, she thought it would be a lovely idea to actually dedicate this video to her nana so and um, funny enough she's going to finish the video uh, she's only four year old she's just in the other room now I'm going to call her in and she's going to yeah finish finish the video how are you alright? Go on. Can't actually remember the video. You can't remember. Right. Okay, so here's our Jessie Bear, our little Leo. Huh? What do you think of the Leo triplet? I like it. You like it? Yeah. It's a, it's a good image. Yeah. Why do you like it? Because the three galaxies. It's three galaxies. Ah. What else do you like about it? Is it because it's part of your star sign? Is it in the constellation Leo? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you think do you think Nana would like the image? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna finish off the video, and you're gonna say bye to everyone. Is that all right? Yeah. So Jess is gonna uh, she's gonna say bye to everyone. So. On that note, please bye to everyone. <laughs> bye for now. Good girl. Yeah. So take care, everyone. And just uh, what can I say? Uh, just. Cherish every moment you've got with your loved ones, because you never know, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Go on then, let's go. Good girl.